Brand new US drama 90210 comes to E4 with a feature length episode tonight at 9. Right now, deal or no deal. 22 boxes. A quarter of a million pounds. Just one question. Welcome to Deal or No Deal. Welcome to you. Welcome to the Dream Factory here in Bristol, the start of a new week. And we've had some fantastic games recently. We've had the ups and downs as usual, but we have had a theme of recovery. We've had games turned around. However, there is another theme, a thread, that has been running through, in fact, I think, all of the games recently. And that is that the banker has, at key moments, put in exactly the right offer. Would you agree? Yeah. You read this all very well. It's not about you being a fan of the banker, but you do admire the accuracy of his offers. I, I am actually a fan of the banker. I, I see myself as the next banker, to be honest. So. <laughs> Uh-oh! <laughs> I, I, I didn't mean that. And this <laughs> is Daniel, who is known as Spreadsheet Boy. <laughs> is that true? And Statman now as well. Yes, yeah. Statman and Spreadsheet Boy. Yeah. OK. Banker, watch out. The next banker is waiting for you. <laughs> Here come the names. So, with the banker on top form, you better be sharp. Steve. Yes! <laughs> Steve, would you please take the walk of wealth? Hello. Hello, Noel. Very nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you, Steve. Welcome to your game. Thank Stephen you Parker much. from Northumberland. That Whereabouts? Cramlington, Northumberland. Cramlington. Uh, a part time nail technician. Yes. That and part time correct. taxi driver. Tell me, what exactly <laughs> is a taxi driver? <laughs> What's a nail technician? Nail technician. A nail technician is someone who does your nails. Now, this isn't someone that you'd expect a man to do. Um, Starting from the very beginning, Marie set up a nail bar. Marie's me, my lovely wife in the audience. Hello. 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 <laughs> from day one, I sat there and I, I answered the phone. And I was actually embarrassed to be there. I, I, you know, my mates were walking past. Ah, oh, what are you doing in there, Steve? You know what? That's not a man's job. So anyway, as time went past, I'm turning so many customers away. And Marie one day says, tongue in cheek, Steve, you can do this. You can do this. And you thought, oh! <laughs> I had no nails left by this point. So I, I bit the bullet, uh, decided to get onto a course, and now I am a fully qualified nail technician. Oh, well, well done. I think that's good. And the rest of the time you drive a cab. Yeah, so I work with Marie, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, cabby, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Oh, fascinating. <laughs> right, who we got here? This was a family holiday. I'm very family oriented. This was back in February last year in Fort Aventura. Ah, the man at work. Yeah, this is me in action. <laughs> Hilda's going to love me for showing this. This is one of the regular customers, and there's me in the centre of the action. I know I shouldn't really say this, but Hilda's only got uh, nine fingers, so she gets a 10% discount. <laughs> <laughs> that's, very, that's very caring. <laughs> that is a 4D scan of my first child, which Marie now is seven months pregnant, so we're expecting that in the next two months. And I'm so, so excited. I can't believe that that is going to be in two months. And what sort of dad are you going to be? The best. My mum was so good to me, bringing us up, and I, I've never wanted for anything. And she hasn't always had everything to give us, and she, she'll do everything she can for me, and I'm going to be exactly the same. You'll be there from day one. I'll be there from day one. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I've been there a few days before that as well. <laughs> well, good luck. I hope everything goes well for you. Are you happy to carry on? I certainly am, Noel. OK, Steve, it's just the one formality we have. 
I need you please to confirm you chose box 16 at random before the game began. I certainly did. Not. It is sealed by the independent adjudicator who seals all 22 boxes and is the only person who knows where the money is. Got a system? I haven't got any system at all, but I am very, very confident. Steve and team, <laughs> good luck. Thank you. <laughs> Right, here we go. They all look so different from a distance. <laughs> Michael, I'm taking you out of the game early. God. Again? Again. Steve, you're a top jury, and I hope this is the start your wife and your family want. Thanks, Michael. Yes! Come on! Jimmy, my scouts are mate. Number five, please. Good luck, mate. Thank Good you very much. Yes! yes! Come on, mate. Come on, mate. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Walter, I'm taking you out of the game early so you oh. make us laugh. <laughs> you look wonderful in your uniform again. I prefer you in the uniform. Thank you very much, Noel. Here I go. Happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Come on, Steve! Come on, Walter. Come on! Thank you. Come on! Come on! <laughs> that, that is the least random thing he's ever said. <laughs> Happy birth. Looking, <laughs> looking just a few weeks forward. Happy birth. Yeah, very good. Abby, number 13. I know how nervous you'll be with your first box. Welcome to the game. Good luck. I wish you all the best. Thank you very much. I hope it's a blue. Yes! Let's do that. Come on, one more. I like this horseplay you've got going with Noel at the minute, so it'll calm us down a bit. Ash, number 80, please. OK. From the galloping Geordie to another Geordie. Good <laughs> luck. Yes! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! That's one to settle the nerves, isn't it? It is, Hello, banker. Pansy nail boy. <laughs> Get him down, ya. <laughs> oh, you're going to scratch his eyes out, are you? <laughs> what? Bad news for Steve? You can't be the first male quarter millionaire? Could be the second female, though. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, I mean business. Oh, you're, you're laying your stall out, aren't you? Ah, oh, oh, he's joining Walter in wishing you a happy birthday. Thank you. Oh, that's <laughs> what a lucky baby. Two mums. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's really, really going he for you. He needs to put them claws away, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, your claws need working on. <laughs> need filing at the ends. <laughs> Good. Thank you very much. Actually, all that joking only exposes the fact that he is very nervous after that opening good. round. It was so good that your box now has an instant value of £9,000. <laughs> Already. <laughs> a lot of nappies. It's certainly a lot of nappies. That's a fantastic offer. But I've come here to play a game, though. I'm here till the end. Mm -hmm. I'm ready for the question. £9,000. Deal or no deal? Thank you, Mr Banker. Fantastic offer to start with, but no deal. Thank you. Yes. Yes. Come on! Come on! <laughs> Three blues. Sue, number 15, please. Thank you, Sue. Good luck, Steve. 
It's all right. That's all right. He says it's all right, so it's all right. The 15,000 is not what he's taking home. <laughs> Sally, I'm coming to you. Number 10, Sally, please, no. Steve, I wish you all the luck in the world. Thank you very much, Sally. We're climbing now. It's all right. 15 all right. climbs to 50, yeah, and he saying. still says it's all right. <laughs> Come on. Number 11, Sally, please, no. Number 12, Sally, please, no. I say you're going all the way. I'm going all the way, Norman. He's going all the way. And that is certainly a reason why you're going to stick with this game. Because uh, the guy from the northeast is going to give us a nail bison climb. <laughs> <laughs> Come back for more of Steve's game. <laughs> Here, determined to win a huge amount of money. Baby on the way, and it would be very, very nice to have financial security in 2009. Steve, it was a wonderful start. You've had two knocks. You don't want a third. My good mate Anna, number 11. I'm going with you. Hi, Steve. Please find me a blue. Yeah. yeah. Come on. Hello. And I'll let you down. And you used to love her so much. <laughs> yeah, she's turned on you. You don't believe Steve? Oh, what, when he said he's going to go all the way to the end? Thank you. Well, he doesn't believe you. Fair enough. No way you're going to go all the way, he says, because uh, a man who cares for his wife as much as you do and he's so excited about the new baby is never, ever going to gamble money. He's going to go away with a sensible sum of money. So he's calling your, your bluff there. Uh, but only you know whether you're telling the truth. Certainly do. For the moment, he has to respect the fact the board is very, very much sending a clear message to him. You're doing all right. He'd like you out of the game. £11,000. What do I think, guys? Now, that's interesting, that question. I can't remember a player ever asking the question, what do I think, guys? <laughs> no, if we're going m more psychic, um, we'll, we'll do it. So, uh, Ade. What do you think he's thinking? What do I think he's thinking? <laughs> well, <laughs> he thinks he wants to go on. All right. What do you think he's thinking? I think he's thinking he's enjoying it too much <laughs> to go yet. I think what you're thinking he's thinking is right. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm ready for the question. OK, you don't have to go over there. We can do I it here I'd if you want. Down. Well, I'm going to stay here, actually. I quite like this bit. I like this bit here. <laughs> £11,000, deal or no deal? Thank you very much, Mr Banker, but no deal. Thank you, Steve. I'm going to do something a bit different here. Whoop. Everyone with a box, put the hand down. I'll come to inspect your nails. <laughs> Let's see who the bait has are. Do you only do hands, you don't do feet? Couldn't do feet. No? What's, what's the verdict? You got no fingers. Wait the front. <laughs> <laughs> Number 17, Dell. <laughs> Away you go. Right, Bonnie lads. This is the only time I want to see Newcastle do well. <laughs> me being a Sunderland lad, right? Ooh. Good luck, mate. It's all right. I 
Alfie, I'm with you. Number six, Alfie, please. Terrible, then. We've had many different systems, <laughs> but never on the nails. Good luck, Steve. One more. Got up to here. What exactly, <laughs> what exactly are you looking for? Terrible nails. Terrible nails. I love them. <laughs> She's got blue on one hand and red, red on the other. <laughs> you think one deal, I know deal, wouldn't you? <laughs> one more. Not happy with them, Addy. Number one, Addy. <laughs> Please. <laughs> I hope you win plenty of money. 250 or 100,000 there should be yours in that box for the new baby coming. What a bizarre system. That's <laughs> <laughs> out. <laughs> That's different, wasn't it? Yeah, oh, he thought that was brilliant. <laughs> yes, banker, yes. Something is about to happen that hasn't happened for a long time. A third offer deal. True, we have not had anyone exit of the third offer for a very long time, but you think he's going? OK, go on then. Thank you. He thinks this is Steve walking. You'll go with £17,000. <laughs> I was looking for a little clue there. Not a clue. I no, too, you moment. didn't. No, you just smiled and just clapped and whatever. Stevie, here we go. <laughs> There's not much money in the North East. And you'll be a rich man if you took that back with you. But there's still a lot more there for you, man. Thanks, mate. You'll be able to make another baby, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> You're a funk in knowledge, you, Walter. No, I'm ready for the question. Interesting. Is he on his way at the third offer? £17,000. Deal. Only deal. Fantastic offer, Mr Banker, but no deal. <laughs> you were wrong, you were wrong. <laughs> He's still here. You genuinely thought he was going to? Oh, well, that's good news for you. You said there is a banker here whose nails are deteriorating <laughs> rapidly. <laughs> He's down to the quick. OK, he, he was conceding he was wrong. He thought 17 would hit the spot. Three more. I'm Rick, I'm going to start with you, please. I'm Rick, number nine. I hope this is a blue for you because I've had a long run of red ones. you found her yet? Who? Well, after I made the appeal on your behalf, you said that you were not just here for a good time and the money, you wanted to find a lady. I've got loads of letters coming through now. I'm not surprised you've got loads of letters coming through. You're a postman. <laughs> <laughs> I'm determined, I'm determined to see you leave here a happy man. Thank you, Noel. Oh, I don't mean that personally, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mean... <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't mean that. No, Shall I, don't I open the box now, Noel? <laughs> yes, please. Yeah, if you could, please. I hope you nailed a banker, Steve. Hey! 
wallop. It's all right, Steve. One hundred thousand pounds is out of Steve's game. <laughs> uh, we're calling a break now. Yeah, we are going to have a break because I think we need just to um, regroup. Yeah. It's still looking good. It's a but fantastic you, board. You that. Desperately need that one, Pete. Yeah. Come back after this break and just see. Actually, just see whether it goes well or rather horrible. See you in a moment. Parker from Framlington, part-time nail technician, part-time cab driver, soon to be a dad, and poised on the edge of eight box with a real dilemma. In that, we've just lost the hundred thousand. If the quarter mil goes, you've got a very different game. Come on, big effort. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. And I'm coming with you. You're a fantastic neighbour. Number seven, Aunt, please go. Where are you go? Go, let's see. This is my son's football shirt, so I hope it's lucky for you and got the penny in it. Thank you. Four, four. Four, four. Four, four. Both ends of the board still there. Yeah. Hello. Nice work, Alfonso. Thank you for that, he says. You know why he didn't open the letters? Because he scored already. <laughs> <laughs> you just happen to be doing your usual tour. <laughs> Last night... And you saw Alfonso enjoying a romantic dinner for two, did you? <laughs> <laughs> With Melissa! He was teaching me Spanish. Ah, good. <laughs> <laughs> he said, look more like French to him. It's all so nice, and he's talking about friendships and all this sort of thing. And then it just, as he builds up to saying what the money is, he gets tougher, and the voice gets this steely edge to it. The expectant father should be very sensible. This is a balanced board, yep. which means inevitably, the next round will decide which way it goes. It's got to go one way or the other. So he's saying you should definitely accept fifteen thousand pounds. Dan, worst case scenario, yeah. what is the percentage you're taking off the three big ones? It's about 1.7%, you take all three. Yeah, and if, you, if you're looking at just two, about 11%. So it's like a nine to one shot that you'll get rid of two. That but... is fabulous. <laughs> so the chances of taking out all three are 1.7%. Around that figure. And you just work these things out, <laughs> just like. <laughs> I mean, I'm so dumb that you could just have made that up. I wouldn't know whether you were telling the truth or not. Hello. <laughs> He's corrected you. 1.78. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, he said. Just, just to one decimal place, you see. I could have told him at 1.782, but... <laughs> 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 He didn't actually say clever clogs, but he said <laughs> if you are doing it to one decimal place, yeah. then you have to round up. To 1.8. 1, 1. So it's 1.8. And fine. then he made a sort of raspberry noise and put the phone down. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
So I'm assuming going the other way, the chances of taking the blues out. Well, not necessarily because then you've got four. You've got four to take out. I'd, I'd sort of tie 250 with that as well. It'd be the same sort of thing. We know that 250 means exactly the same as five pound, 50 and a penny. It's just blues. But it's a decent offer. You've got to think the money. Because it, it does happen. Yesterday, it was 10 to 1 in that last round, Carol, the three went. And three went. Just like that. It sometimes happens. <laughs> sometimes. Steve? Yeah. It all depends on you, mate, how much you want that money. Just think of the baby, that lovely lady of yours as well. That's no pressure. You've got, you've got a hard no decision to make, mate. A hard decision to make. No, I'm ready for the question. Fifteen thousand pounds. Deal or no deal? Fantastic offer. No deal. There are three boxes in this round, and therefore a balance board has to swing. Which way is it going to go? Towards you or in favour of the banker? Coming to you, Daniel. Knowledge of advice. Number eight. I hope I've got a blue. 35,000 is out. I'm a state. And it's not conclusive. It still doesn't tell us which way this is going to swing. Number 20. Barbara, please. Thank you, Barbara. Steve, I really hope it's the one P. Thank you. Good luck. Whoa, 10 grand. And it now feels as if the game has gone to the banker. <laughs> Come on! Come on! My good mate Andy, box number three. Thank you, Andy. And is that penny, please, Andy? Steve, you've been a great mate, and I do hope it's the penny, although I don't want the cash. <laughs> ah. And there we have the answer. Quarter million has gone. Didn't touch a single blue. And now, all or nothing. And doesn't 15,000 feel a million miles away? That really was a painful moment. I believe the 75,000 is in this box. Yeah. Hello. He's actually been very complimentary. He, he said he didn't get really very much pleasure out of that round, and he thought it was very, uh, very good the way you quickly changed your emphasis to 75,000 being on the table. And despite all the goading that he gave you at the beginning, he says, no, I can recognise this guy's tough. So maybe this is going to be a hopeful offer. OK, I was right. Under normal circumstances, he would almost certainly offer £250 at this point, but he is actually going to offer you £1,500. £1,500. You might as well go on. You know you want to. You think you've got the 75. I said I was going to go on the way. I'm going to have to go on the way. No, that is £75,000. Ready for the question? Steve, £1,500, deal or no deal? Thank you very much, but no deal. Yeah! 
call at number 21. Please try and find us the penny. We are hoping, hoping upon hope, 75,000 is actually sitting here. And we have in these three boxes, quite simply, not to discover it. All the best, Steve. Thank you. in the dream factory it's tangible but that's just the first box Find a penny, Steve. Come on, Steve. let's hit this one at number 14 please melissa same thing applies melissa we just gotta miss it we've got to have a cheer we've got to see a blue steve you and marie are gonna make fantastic parents let's find a bouncing blue Calm until we can find one more blue. Just miss that 75,000 and you're back in the game. Are you going to look left or are you going to look right? 19, 22. 22, please. 22. Despite all its history, the reputation. Really hope you're right because you're back in the game if we've missed it. Open box 22, please. Steve, I can't tell you how much I hope is a blue. Oh! Oh! Sure does not go down very well. He said, "Oh, the offer's nineteen thousand pounds." Oh no, he got the wrong box. The offer is nineteen pounds. Fifty p, nineteen pounds, two hundred and fifty pounds. I'm ready for the question. Nineteen pounds, deal or no deal? No deal. Okay, he's going all the way. <laughs> Please sit down. There's no point in dragging this out. We all feel it for you, Steve. This is what you are taking home. 50p. <sighs> Ty, would you please complete the game? £250 over there. <sighs> I come here to play a game, Noel, and I've played the game. I've played the game. I've been true to myself. I said I'd go all the way, and I did. I've got a lovely baby coming, and I've got to be positive. You know, that money would have meant so much to us. But I've played the game, I've enjoyed it, and I've had the time of my life yeah. I wouldn't change it for anything. <laughs> Steve, you were true to yourself. And unfortunately, sometimes the boxes don't respect that determination. But you take uh, with you back to the North East a lot of love and support from everybody yeah. here. We wish you great happiness with the new baby. Good luck, Marie, in a few months' time. And I'm so sorry that it's only 50p. Thank you very much. For Steve, it's been a pleasure. Yeah. Oh. That is one of those reaches. Uh, we call it the Dream Factory, but every now and again we do conjure up a nightmare. It's what makes Deal or No Deal unique, and it what 
makes it so compelling. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Well, let's try and lift the spirits with Wogan's Perfect Recall next. <laughs>